Shalom everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international video or videos. I'm Kenithia J or Kenithia Johnson. Welcome back. Welcome back guys. I'm gonna pray. I guess yes sir. He said wait a second for somebody to come in. I was just gonna pray. Yes, Lord. I call upon your Archangel Raphael for healing and his angels, all of your angels and archangels of healing. Oh, Koshala, Zakotoba. My Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence, your Holy Spirit. Let every viewer who watches this video receive you, receive the, your fresh feeling of your Holy Spirit, a new touch from you, a fresh touch from your angels, in Jesus Christ's name, of healing, of deliverance, amen, of comfort for them and their family. God heals our brokenness. I'm going to cry. You guys are going through a tough time right now. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, Jesus. But God heals your brokenness, okay? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ his only son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell, and on the third day, he rose from the dead. I'm sorry. Yeah. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the Holy Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and a life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God Jesus Christ, amen. The Christianity Church came about because the Roman Catholics was kind of pushing out um, healing and deliverance or like they call them exorcisms they was like a lot for years they didn't want to the catholic church the romans they didn't they didn't do healing for a long time and also prophecy they weren't doing any prophecy and so that's how the christianity church came about they got everything the roman catholics got they even say things in certain ways sometimes but they do more healing and deliverance in the Christianity church than the Roman Catholic church. If you wanted to know the difference, the Lord just showed me to say it. Alright, Ephesians. Ephesians. 2 verse 8 and I am referencing my daily bread devotion on this on this video and we're going to be talking about loss in, in your life and, and and God heals your brokenness which I saw is it's, it's, it's not funny but I, I saw that when I was at my altar praying this morning I looked down at my prayer mat 
and that's where I was. And then when I come, when I came here, and so of course I prayed. And then when I came to the ouch, when I came to the daily devotion, it says God heals our brokenness. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for God works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That's another video. You want me to say it now? You know the Lord God, Jesus Christ, he boasts in himself. Don't let they show up. Let you be going through something detrimental. You be about to die and the Lord come save you and you going you to speak. The Lord, he, and you a prophet or something, he going to boast right through you and talk about himself. And I've saw him do it through other people, like innocently. And then the church get mad or some people in the church get jealous because they was going up against that person. But the Lord be boasting in himself because you come against him and he be done warned you. He be keep telling you, that's my child. Don't do this. Don't do that. And what you do? She ain't special. He ain't special. Why she got to do this? Or who she think she and what God do? Okay, allow them to win, and when it's time for speak, the Holy Spirit, you clearly hear the Holy Spirit, but then you get sensitive and say, now you're not here, she boasting, and now you're not being humble. No, the Lord be boasting in himself. He boasts in himself. Back to the brokenness says for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of god not of works okay i understand thank you holy spirit because of grace we are able to receive the love of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Love, love, love is what's going to heal that brokenness. The love of Jesus Christ. Okay? He has to come and comfort you. How? Through the word. Stay in the word when you're broken. Stay in the word of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, when you're broken. That's the only healing. Healing is going to come through the word. By his grace, we received him. He is love. Lo perfect love casts out all fear, but love is healing. Healing to the soul, healing to the spirit, the love of Jesus Christ, the relationship. Stay in a, in a, stay in a place of needing God. That's why the Lord says, that's why the Lord says he's drawn to the broken hearted. Those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit are the closest to the Lord. Because you guys, we need his love when we're in that point of time in our life. And whoever needs daddy love the most gets it in that time. That's it, Kushoba. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. Do you know how much the Lord loves you? He's showing up for you today to give you this word. He loves you. And his perfect love not only casts out fear, but it heals brokenness. The broke, the deep cuts, the loss of a, ch of a child, the loss of a parent, the loss of an of a opportunity that could have taken you somewhere. God heals our brokenness. Hallelujah. The question in prayer that this says, what brought you to your need to ask God to heal your brokenness? How do you need him today? 
This is something to go in prayer on. And allow the Holy, the Holy Spirit makes prayer and intercession through you and for you. God already knows what you need. He knows it. He knows what's on your heart before you even come to him because he, he is the true judge of your life. He is the true author of your life. He says what goes and what doesn't go. He says, okay, now they can leave, but no, now this one has to stay down here for a bit long. God knows. He knows. And so the prayer says, God, thank you for being rich in mercy toward me. May I boast in you and your gift of salvation through grace by faith. Now, from my experience, everybody in the church don't take the boasting the way they should because they be the ones that come against the God in you, and so they mad that they lost, but... This says, may I boast. So you just be careful. Some people don't take, they'll say, you're not being humbled and all of that. But you just living your life, okay, at the end of the day. Be grateful. Boast of the Lord's goodness, okay, of his goodness. The next one says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. Great is his faithfulness. Lamentations 3 verse 22. Lamentations. It's in the beginning. It's in the Old Testament. Okay. Dun -dun. Praise the Lord. Lamentations 3, verse 22 through 23. I've been seeing 222. Two, two. I've been seeing that. 222, two, two, two. get married. I've been seeing all kind of stuff. Anyway, when you can't go on, okay? When you did Lamentations 3, verse 22-23. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. Amen. Amen. Remember when you can't go on to think about the Lord's mercies, his grace. He's given us compassion not to fail. This is a question now. In the midst of difficulty, where do you go for strength? How can you remind yourself to trust in God's great love? And the prayer says, Father, help me to keep trusting you. Open my eyes so I can see your love and faithfulness. I was reading that yesterday with Dr. Joyce Mayer. I was trying to, I'm try, trying to finish up this book I got a few years ago. And one of the chapters I had to read, sorry, excuse me. One of the chapters I had to read was about trusting in God, having faith in the Lord. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We have to trust in the Lord when we don't see the next day going as planned because we, we lost a loved one. Or because we, we, it's something so bad just happened to us. Whatever, you know, your scenario may be, it feel like we can't go on. You call out to Jesus. You cry. Cry and call out on your knees. And you let it out. That's what you do first. 
first you let it out and call upon the Lord. Cry out and call out to, Lord, to the Lord God Jesus Christ for help. Never get so mature that you can't go back to the kid like mine that we're supposed to have in reverence to our Heavenly Father. Never get so, amen, never get so grown that you can't seek out the Lord the way we are to humbly really do it, which is calling out to him, crying out to him. Then he'll send help because he is our help. I pray I have a blessed day, okay? Shalom.